So, you know, it's about sign language. It's not just hand shapes, though. It's sign language as a whole language. And I really encourage people through my art to learn. You know, people have a look and say, what does that mean? And I say, well, you try and learn. You can learn some sign language. You can come back. You can understand what my art's about. Well, hello. My name is Jacob. And this is my sign name. I'm quite a tall person, so that's why I have this sign name. So my other name, Gonketa, that's my artist name. And that one, where that name comes from, it's just like the ball inside a spray can. When you shake the spray can, it's an onomatopoeia for that sound. I've been making art for a really long time, but I became a serious professional artist, I'd say maybe five years ago. So I'm fluent in Auslan, that's my first language. And I really like painting. Painting in my first language is really an expressive thing for me. And you'll see street art, you'll see graffiti, you'll see all these words and tags all over the place. And I was thinking, you know, why isn't there Auslan as well? So I've started playing with that. So looking back when I started working on art seriously, prior to that I used a lot of black and white when I was painting and drawing. I wasn't sure what colours I wanted to use. I think at that time I was not happy in my personal life as well, so I was frustrated and that came out. But I decided I want to start using colour. What I did is I picked the colour blue. I love the colour blue. And then I thought, you know, let's play with another colour, let's use pink. Then I thought I'd add some yellow, some orange, I started adding more and more colours. And then looking back, I could see that I allowed myself that freedom. And it helped me become more happy as well, just using different colours. I really love Keith Haring. He makes art that's quite simple, but it's bright. It uses colour. It's active in the artwork. There's a lot going on, but there's not a lot there, which is really amazing. I love that type of art. It really influences the work that I do. When I've been drawing, people have said to me, oh, your work is quite similar to Keith Haring. And I didn't realise it at the time. And I thought, oh, wow. Well. YouTube was one of my first massive clients. Recently, there was International Day of Sign Languages, where we celebrate sign language. So I did a drawing and it got animated. So when you search YouTube, it changes to sign language. I've been deaf all my life, but I don't necessarily feel like I have a disability. All my friends are deaf in my friend circle. We don't feel like we have a disability either. The only time we feel like that disability impacts us is, for example, when we go to the train station and there's an announcement. I don't know what it says. That's when my disability feels like it actually becomes a barrier to me. When my deaf friends are together, we're signing, we're communicating, we're having a chat. And there might be a hearing person who can't sign that enters that space. We can communicate, but this person can't. So it makes you think, where are the barriers? Where is the disability in that situation? Who can't actually communicate? So that's a really interesting thing for me. What I really want to do is encourage people to learn. I have a deaf perspective with my work and the deaf perspective and the hearing perspective of my work is very different. Hearing people might come in perhaps a bit ignorant and understand a little bit, but deaf people really come in and see my work and ask lots of questions. Sometimes they can see the whole story in my art. Hearing people that don't know Auslan come in and they don't really fully see it. I feel like some other barriers as well that pop up in the art world. We can find it really difficult to make friends, communicate with other artists, seize those job opportunities. I think about opening nights I attend and I'm the only deaf person. I don't have anyone to communicate with, so instead I focus on the art and I miss out on those discussions. 
what if they're having discussions that are interesting and I want to be involved in or there are work opportunities that I want to be involved in. I miss out on all of that. I think it's really difficult to be involved in the art world. Hopefully that'll change. Not just including deaf, but disabled artists as well. There are so many amazing artists out there who miss out on all these opportunities. <laughs>